Prince Charles has tested positive for COVID-19 for the second time, despite being triple jabbed, by according to a royal expert, the news is a grim reminder that his time on the throne could be short. At the age of 73, the future King of England is medically classed as a vulnerable person and although his case seems to be relatively mild it serves as a reminder that he will ascend to the throne as an old man. In an op-ed for Australian news outlet news.com.au, royal expert Daniela Elza gave a stark reminder of the reign the future king will face. She said, sometimes it's easy to forget just how advanced in years Charles is. He turned 73 last November and has spent the past 52 years waiting, waiting, waiting for the top job. And today's Covid news is a grim reminder that his time on the throne, when it does come, will be relatively short. Even if King Charles III took over tomorrow, he will still only have a very modest 20 to 25 years of ruling at most. She added, there is no getting away from the fact that in the next two decades, Buckingham Palace is going to have to contend with not only the death of one sovereign, but two, and not only one coronation, but four, if you consider Queen Camilla and Queen Catherine also being crowned. Ms. Elsa pointed out that while over the past 70 years the Queen has been a stalwart figure projecting enduring stability and steadfastness the next 20 might be a period of ongoing tumult. Next in line to the throne after Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall are the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who are immensely popular with the public. However Miss Elsa wrote that William and Kate, in an ideal world, need years if not decades to really solidify and cement the shift from the monarchy of old to the modern and innovative institution they have been steadily cultivating. Therefore if Prince Charles does sadly succumb earlier than expected, it could derail these carefully laid plans. The Queen will celebrate her 96th birthday in April and her advancing years have been a cause of concern over the past few months. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that Prince Charles was in contact with the Queen two days before his positive test result and she is currently being monitored for symptoms. The age of the British royals is already breaking records and the Queen could be set to break even more. She is already the longest serving British monarch ever, whilst Prince Charles will be the oldest person ever to be crowned when he becomes king. If the Queen is still reigning on 27th of May 2024 she will become the longest reigning monarch of a Western sovereign state in history. If she makes it to October 2034, when she will be 108 years old, she will become the longest serving monarch of all time.